Hi everyone, I'm doing another piece from this um, page from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly today. Um, this time I'm going to attempt this medal. Now it isn't showing fully on this page. I can't remember if it's like that in the um, actual picture or not, but I thought if we have a go at what's here then uh, then we can uh, see how that goes really. Now I want to do it in a silvery type colour, but I want it of a more of a pewter look because we've got our mirror up here which is quite a light silvery look to it so I thought this we could make look a little bit different we've got a lot of intricate detail on here which is quite fun so what I'm going to do to make it really simple is to start by just colouring over all the parts that I want to be silver with my cold grey 4 so I'm go starting up here and I'm trying to do a lightish even layer. Now the best way to do an even layer is to hold your pencil quite, I'll show you with this one, quite a long way up but I've got a short pencil so I can't do that so I'm just being really careful with the amount of pressure that I put down and uh, just colouring away. Now I'm not leaving any white gaps at the moment on any of this um, usually I do when I do silvery colours. I may decide that I want to after a while and we can use our eraser to uh, help us or a white pen but I think being as it's pewter it's not going to have such a high shine so uh, I think pewter is the right sort of thing. Now I'm never sure whether that should be filled in or not. I'm going to leave it empty. I'm going to assume that it's a gap in the, the design so uh, that's that's my interpretation of it you can uh, decide it might be easier to colour it in it might not be so uh, we'll see um, have a think about what you want to do now as I'm colouring this I'm looking at the shapes and uh, where it would look three dimensional and where it might not yes I realise we've got leaves here but I don't want them to be green, I want them to be part of this cast metal piece. Right, okay, so that's that, it's quite simple, we just coloured that in. And now I'm going to start at the top and start looking at where I want to add some shadow, sorry, I've got my Payne's grey. I've jumped up a lot of shades, partly because my other greys are being used for another project, so they're sitting somewhere else and also the Payne's Grey is a rather nice colour. So I'm just looking at where I think there might be shadow on these pieces and filling it in. So you see just where it's near something else like it's near the ribbon here so there will be some shade and where the edges meet now here we have a sort of rounded piece, so I think there will be some shadow down here where it meets this other bit and then I'm thinking maybe around the edge and then it has some shine in the middle so it looks like it's more rounded. And this one I'm thinking on the edges, I'll leave it lighter on the middle. And you can see this is much darker than the silver coloured item that we did and the reason for that I th I'm wanting things some things to be a little bit darker just to make it them not all look the same on the page so I thought if I do this a sort of darker pewtery colour it looks a little bit different now these two bits I feel this is pointing upwards so this is the sort of top so I think it might be a bit darker there and then this is the bottom so I think it's going to be a lot darker here and hopefully that gives the illusion that this is high and we'll see, so we're going to put a defined line there where there's a bit of shadow and then I'm thinking maybe this bit is set in it's a bit darker compared to those two edge bits I'm just going to put a line between them bit of shadow at the bottom but not too much oh just had to move my arm sorry I've got a um I've got a frozen shoulder luckily on my non-colouring arm 
but uh, it's uh, it's not nice. It's uh, I've had it for ages and it is getting better, but um, I have to can't always put it in every position I'd like to put it in. Well, the sun's just gone in. I don't know if that's made a difference to the light. I hope not. So my idea with this is that this outside bit is sticking up, so I want to make this bit down here look like it's a shadow. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice then. Yeah, so I, my um, frozen shoulder is not fun. It wakes me up at night sometimes and things, but what I find amazing is all of you that put your pictures on Instagram and Facebook, when I can't sleep in the night, I go on there and it it's so lovely it helps me to take my mind off my sore shoulder so thank you all for that you can see how this because I'm only using one color it makes it quicker and simpler than if I was fiddling around with lots of different shades of gray oh I think there's a book about that isn't there <laughs> and uh, it uh, you just have to alter your pressure so that you can fade it a little bit and it takes a bit of practice so I'm just thinking about as I'm going through this my thought process is where is it going to be darker and I'll put this where it's darker and then fade it towards where I think it will be lighter and uh, these bits I'm just going to put a bit of shadow there and maybe in between them okay I'm going to do this one in the same way so nice to find a dark line here oops and then bring it in and here bring it in towards the middle so yes everyone so people say I leave comments a lot on people's work because I'm just so grateful for you all for posting because um, it just keeps makes me feel so much better and also um, encourages me to keep going gives me ideas I don't I try not to just copy anybody but uh, I find everybody's work so inspiring I take little ideas from here and there and uh, make them my own and I'm sure sorry at my I know I'm covering up what I'm doing um, I'm sure other people do the same thing so I look at a picture and I think oh I like that but I won't stop there I think what is it I like about it what is it that they've done that makes it so good particularly on these amazing amazing artistic pieces that look like they've been done by some sort of massive professional artist rather than feeling completely daunted by them which it, you know you can do I look at it and I think what is it about it that's so fab you know what have they done is it the use of color is it the use of light and shade what is it that makes it such an amazing picture that I can use as a technique in mine and uh, it's the way you grow and learn rather than looking at it and going wow I'm never going to be that good. Don't do that. Um, look at it and just think, what can I learn from this amazing person who's generously shared their picture? Um, I can't imagine most people do it just to show off and say, look how good I am. But they've shared their picture and we can learn from it. So take advantage of the fact that they're sharing. So I look on um, mainly Instagram and Facebook. I in Facebook I'm on the Johanna Basford um, your pages um, so I look on there and um, Instagram obviously I look at hashtag Johanna Basford mainly because I assume most people will use that hashtag if they're doing Johanna Basford work sorry I'm gonna have to blow my nose I'm really sorry oh Oh, sorry about that. Oh, right, let's carry on. Now, these little leaf pans, I want to stand up to make it look like they're, um, I think embossed is the right word. 
So I'm going to try and do a little bit of shadow under each one just to make it look a bit more three-dimensional. So there is our main part of our medal. And it's, as you see, it's done, quite simply done. Um, and we have the ribbon to do. Now, with the ribbon, obviously the ribbon is fabric. So we want it to look flatter. Now, I like the idea of having some gold in the fabric, but I don't want to use a shiny gold, a gel pen or anything like that because I don't want it to um, shine in that sort of sense because we want the the, um, the metallics to look more shiny. But I'm going to use my green gold to mark out those areas that I want to look like they're gold thread. And it won't be, um, there won't be any shine. It's just going to be a gold colour. And I find this polychromos green gold is the nearest to gold that I have. I really like the colour, as you can tell by the length. This is my second one of these that I've had. Um, I think I may have bought one open stock when I only had a few polychromos. So I've, I think I have got a... I'm pretty sure I've got one hanging around that I can replace this with. And I'm going to do this bit gold as well. Now, I don't know much about medals and medal ribbons, but having glanced at them, I think my dad's got his father's medal somewhere, and um, I'm sure um, I've, I've seen them on the television, you know, people wearing them at special occasions, and I'm pretty sure that they would be a bright primary colour, a blue or a red or a green. So I'm thinking about what colour. now. We've got quite a lot of red going on up here, so I think I will avoid red. And I'm thinking blue and green is quite nice. I quite like blue and green. It's in the Henderson Tartan, um, being a Henderson, married Henderson, not born into Hendersons. Um, it's quite a nice uh, colour. Now, in the polychromos, blues are tricky. There isn't what I would call a mid-proper blue. There's all sorts of different blues. There's turquoisey blues, there's sky blues, there's you know more chalky blues, purpley blues, but there isn't really just what I would say was just a normal blue. But the nearest, I think, is probably the phthalo blue. So I'm gonna use that. And I'm not sure what green, I shall think about it. Um, and I'm trying to decide where to do the colour because it almost indicates it's all going to be the same. I think what I'm going to do is the blue here. Now we're not going to shade because it's fabric. We don't really have shine on fabric. If it was um, crumpled then we would get some shadows and we might have a bit of shadow here from the crown so we might um, just do a little bit of something there. We need to try and make it even. Now it's not always that easy to get an even amount of pencil. What I do is I tend to colour a little section like this then I look at it and look, there's this white stripe there that needs going over and just go back over the bits that are paler. One tip I would give you is don't keep going back over the whole thing because some areas are paler. Once they're, If they start paler they're going to continue to be paler so if you go over all of it those paler items would always remain paler. I hope that makes sense. So I'll show you. So I'll do a bit here and I can see that this bit down the middle is a little bit paler than this so I'm not going to go all the way over it all. I'm just going to go over that bit to tone it in. And we're going to have quite a bit of shadow here because we've got these other items as well so I'll show you how I would do that in a moment. We've got the spout of the teapot. quite a tricky one. Right, I shall put that aside and grab a green. Hmm, what oh, green? I think I'm going to do this one just because it's a favourite of mine. This is the permanent green. And uh, go around the edges. It's actually not that dark, but that's okay because it will look different to the gemstones here, which are here, which are a bit darker. And I think it's more of a matte green, which looks more like fabric compared to the this sort of more shiny sort of I think this is more opaque and that's more transparent I don't know whether it's just an illusion whether it really is so 
hopefully this is giving the impression of fabric. What I did on my original one was I, when I finished um, putting my colour down, I got a ruler and a pencil and I drew some lines in and then drew in some and try to make it look like it was there was a weave in the fabric. The problem with that was that it was too big because this is quite a small item I think the weave would be really close so it didn't quite work so I think I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm just going to leave it quite plain. It's quite easy and relaxing to do this. You could do it with your gel pens as well if you wanted to. Um, I'm always a bit worried about using pens in a book anyway. Um, I, bit, I did experiment a bit in Worlds of Wonder. I was going to do a pen background and then colour it over in pencil. But uh, I experimented in the back with the pen and it, although it didn't bleed through, I could see the out a sort of darker patch through the pe page and I just didn't like it and I was felt like if I just went a little bit too hard it might bleed through and I was nervous because of what was on the back so I just didn't but uh, it's something that I need to experiment with on pages that I print rather than in a book so that's that and while we're going to do some shade um, shadows I mean I'm going to use my dark sepia for shadows I like using that I'm going to sharpen it a little bit and I shall show you and we've got the shadow here from the crown so we just get a line here and the idea is that we go over the black line that Johanna's drawn and then just extend it just a tiny bit now it doesn't it looks a little odd when you're doing it on an item that hasn't been coloured in and it might be something that you want to wait to do until the very end but uh, i just show you now we have less above but I'm still just going to go over that line a little bit and hopefully it will give it a more three-dimensional look hopefully here where this one is coloured I think I'll take that down a little bit because we've got the shadow here and here so it needs to sort of tie in with that there we go and it just separates the items now also of course we've got this line here I'm just going to do the tiniest bit and the tiniest bit across here and hopefully that will just make it sit up a little bit away from the crown it's tricky because it's sort of tucked inside it but hopefully that helps you so there um let me just and zoom out just a tad so you can see whoops the whole thing let's push it up for you oh i think we need, need to zoom out just a tad more there we go so there's our medal pewter medal and um and um whatever this is um ribbon i guess so there we go so i hope that was useful i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and happy coloring <laughs>